Right, we're in Ekeleni and we're on the break in Taiwan. It's got Mr. George Hartman behind him there, it's Mr. Wilkron Nevin. And I think this is the worst truck tractor we have seen in all our over 30 exercises. George, just tell us what we're looking at. Well, in short, we're missing a complete booster configuration here. No brake shoe in here, no S cam, no, no slack adjuster, no brake booster. So the booster has been totally taken off and there's nothing in the drum? No assembly from the slack adjuster all the way through into the drum. Okay. When we look this at this side, side, the linings are metal to metal. There's hardly anything over there. When we come across, we look at the pushrod length in particular over here, which is a fair fitment for a vehicle like this. We move to the axle behind it and we can see that this pushrod is fully extended but the brakes are not applied either we can see there's also no lining on but the shoe is right on the drum this side we can see this one is actually functional so on this bogey there are only two wheels functional from a braking perspective so you have two wheels on a 6x4 truck tractor that are working. Yes. And, the, and booster missing. Uh, and if we had to brake strip shoes. this thing, we've got oil leaks in the front there. Brake shoes are non-existent there for efficient braking. So I would say, George, that in our, and Wolfgang, you've been with us from the beginning, both of you, this is probably, in my opinion, one of the worst, the worst truck tractors truck I've seen. seen. Yeah. And the, the air tank is full of oil and grease and so Yeah, let's just go have a quick look at how the air tank looks. Now, the air tank should be drained once a day, every day. There should be pure air that comes out. I'm going to be careful on this. George, don't pull it fully. Otherwise, I'm going to get... There we are. Now, that's George is just touching it. If you had to pull it fully... There, a little bit of guy wants more, there's it. And that's not even fully. So that is full of muck that gets into the brake system. That hasn't been drained into for, for ages. Valves. And into all the valves. What damage does that do, Wilcom? Cause a brake failure. And it could kill, I don't know how many lives, but it will definitely cause a big accident. Right, there we have it. The worst prize goes to, let me take us outside and let's just see the name of the company registration and number. the freight number okay here we go and there's a big oil leak here as well eh? yeah there's lots of oil leaks you can see there's massive oil leaks everything and by the way the, uh, how was the trailer will come can you well, the trailer has broken springs there's uh, missing parts on the on the brake assembly uh, it used to have automatic slack adjusters and somebody fitted manual slack adjusters, which is totally against the law. So this unit is very, un very, very unroadworthy. Okay, with no brakes? No brakes. Right, it's going to be suspended and yeah, we have the cop shop. We have inspected this. I'm going to have a look. It's a freight liner. It doesn't reflect badly against the freight liner. It reflects against the operator. Okay. Freight liners make nervous in truck, and if this one has just been totally ignored. Of this. Okay. Now, Lone? Yes, hello, how are you? All right, thank you. Yes, how can I help you? Yeah, and you do a lot of totally unroadworthy. I had the brick of the truck tractor. That's a booster that's a missus. That's a camshaft that's a missus. 